All right. Well, political church is something that um, I uh, actually was reaching out. Uh, we have a gen show called Face to Face Seattle, which is every week on uh, Facebook. I interview someone from the Seattle area and, um, you know, we have conversations about politics or just something about local uh, around Seattle, uh, just where the conversation goes. And uh, I reached out to a friend of mine, Fraley Justin, uh, old political science buddy from UW, and um, he instantly um, asked me about um, kind of collaborating with him on something called Political Church. And this would be a um, weekly Sunday meeting within Seattle where uh, we'll be, you know, working to ensure the protection of at-risk communities and our free society and the environment and just making sure we work together. Uh, slide seven shows a couple things from the Facebook. Um, down on the lower right-hand corner, we've got uh, Fraley in the back there um, with two other organizers. Uh, I wasn't able to go to the first meeting, which that, which is actually just last Sunday, um, but if you look at the lower, bottom lower left uh, picture, that is the, <clears throat> not the crowd that met at the meet first meeting, which would have been great, but actually the local protest that um, Fraley and other members that showed up um, actually just kind of blended into and joined. Um, because, you know, in Seattle, we've got a lot of that stuff going on right now, and it's a real big community. So you, you always know people in the marches, and so you're, you know, you always end up going and hanging out so it's been really fun um now let me see let me look over here um and see i we were, we we're hoping to have freely on he's here oh okay let me see here i didn't see him okay. oh there he is yeah you are hey freely uh, hey look at that how's, how's it going, going? Oh, thanks for being here man uh, yeah so this is interesting new technology i'm kind of an old man i have no idea what's going on here <laughs> me neither bud me neither <laughs> all right well. cool. so far so good no, just tell us a little bit about, you know, how did you come up with the idea for political church? Oh, well, um, that, it's kind of a long story. It's, I guess you'd say it's not really an idea. It's more of a performance piece. It's like uh, performance art because I really wanted to take hold of these community symbols that uh, the church holds on to. The church is the one thing that everybody goes to each week, meets together together. And that's okay, and that's fine, and that's actually really taken by, especially the evangelicals who probably voted for Trump. And I wanted to sort of co-opt their symbols the way they co-opt our symbols, like the safety pin, for example, and just really push forward with that and try to open a space more like a rainbow coalition where all groups can meet there. Uh, I want to be able to meet with groups who are for direct action and maybe breaking shit. I swear, um, and groups who are for complete peaceful protest. I want them to talk to each other because they need to realize that they are more allies than they are enemies. Nice, nice. Well, I understand, you know, um, I wasn't able to make the first one. Um, we're hoping to collaborate in the future and maybe even, you know, start up um, a regular broadcast from wherever we end up meeting. But I, uh, you went ahead and kind of gathered at least some people up for the first meeting last Sunday. How did that go? Yeah, um, the first meeting was great. Uh, it was generally not exactly a meeting. It was sort of a running thing from 12 to 5. I just sort of sat there and was willing to engage with people as they were walking back and forth. And really just to make a public show with especially all the people walking by in Seahawks gears, make a public show that like, no, I'm out here because I'm saying I'm going to stand up for these communities. I'm going to start organizing. I'm going to do something. I just wanted to make a show of that. Uh, and with that, I ended up running into a lot of interesting organizers that are doing some amazing things uh, here in Seattle and specifically was able to share some of my knowledge of protest tactics with a very young, um, I think it was a bunch of middle school girls wanted to throw a protest, but they had no idea how to get like a big group of people to start moving in one direction and sort of sharing with them was basically- Were they from a local school? In, in, were they from a local school yeah, in the Seattle a, area? Yeah. It, it was a local school in the Seattle area. It was a small little group of them, but they were very fired up and not a lot of people were taking them seriously. Um, and it just took a, a few of us and it was few of the people that I met while doing the public uh, political church thing uh, right. that sort of helped me work with this group and sort of coalesce sort of a bigger movement of these different pieces sort of put together. And that's the whole idea of political church, get these pieces to 
come under one roof. I mean, we're all talking politics. Why don't we? Uh, right. Hang out? Right. Cool. Cool. So, um, despite, I might maybe there's some questions from the others, but I would just love to know. Like, um, I assume like you're going to have a meeting again uh, next Sunday. Do you have a time and location um, set yet? It's it's every Sunday. Um, as for time and location, mm -hmm. time will generally. My my goal was to always basically be at church from twelve noon on Sundays until ten eleven o'clock at night, as late as I can stay up. Um, and it'll be every Sunday. It will not be always in the same place because I want to do, do different activities. Um, I'm talking mm -hmm. with somebody right now. We're going to make some buttons because of the whole safety pin thing. It says. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're a bigot fuck off and it's like that's nice. it <laughs> it's very straightforward you can't Simple. go off that message so, cool all right well like uh, um in business we use the term best practices to ask organization leaders about like uh you know what are some of the things that they do that there are tried and true practices? What are some best practices that you uh, teach, train, or consult for your protesters that want to take a little bit more of a uh, break stuff attitude towards things? Ooh, <laughs> great question. And uh, difficult to answer exactly. One of those things would be not sharing all tactics over a unknown media source like this. Yeah, like a live um, <laughs> YouTube broadcast, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You probably want to step back, but um, a lot of it actually has to do with just organization. Um, it, it's amazing how how easily it was to take this group of people who have never protested. That's what was so beautiful about this group is it was just filled with people who had no idea that uh, the police had tactics to send them a certain way. And I guess the best practices in those situations were getting people aware, talking, moving back and forth, and knowing when to open up space and not people. Because sometimes even within one big movement march, somebody in the back and somebody in the front they have completely opposing ideas of what mm -hmm. should happen and why it should happen. But uh, the cohesion of the entire group is the important part. That, that is the best practice is keeping everybody moving together and understanding that we're sort of working for the greater good. You have to give up a little to get a little and. Yeah. That, that's it. Other than that political church is only 48 hours old right now. So I haven't really set in on anything quite yet. Yeah, no, that's cool. It's a good, uh, it, it, it's a great answer because just like what you said, it's kind of like, it's like the Chinese, the Chinese dragon metaphor. You, they, the front and the back are in two entirely different things when they're moving. And, and if there's 25 people underneath, but the whole point is that they all need to be moving synchron synchronously in the same direction. Now they go and they, twist and turn but they eventually need to get to the same spot and so it's a it's a great point in terms of you know you there are different ways to protest but as far as leading them and and putting them together you the point is to make sure that that people get what they need but also the larger purpose is achieved yeah the biggest thing i want to do is have a conversation like this with actual people in a closed safe space um to to kind of organize that that cohesion because the one i guess benefit i have of being in the city for so long is i've been to every single protest and i i know the spd tactics pretty darn well but i would need a group of maybe five or six trusted individuals that i could definitely trust and we could work together and actually do more of a a group thing maybe do some step practices bring back some of my marine corps experience awesome awesome well thank you very much fraley um i was you know it's great to talk to you i'm um, glad to have you on um political church is something i'm looking forward to to meeting up and joining in and hopefully we can you know see this through on a regular basis and you know really start at least you know bringing people together and keeping conversations going right Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving learning all this new stuff, like live streaming. I did that for the first time, and now I'm doing yeah. this for the first time. This, this, this is great. I hope you use all this stuff in the future.
Oh yeah, for sure. I'm I'm sure we'll have you on again. Um, and you know, and then we'll check in on political church and how it's doing. All right. Excellent. Thanks for having me. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man.